Oh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forrester, and hello, 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 hello. Thank you, thank you all so much for being here, for coming over to the channel and enjoying what I do here on YouTube. Um, we are just about to pass over 40,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely insane. <laughs> Uh, last I checked, it was at like 39,920 something. So by the time this goes up, probably be very close to 40K, if not already there. Uh, so I just wanted to record this video and say thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, uh, it's insane to me how many people come to this channel and subscribe and just want to watch me be me and play these games and kind of do whatever it else it, whatever else it is that i do here on youtube um really it's just kind of a it's been an amazing opportunity to kind of be here and create this content for you all play amazing games scary games funny games whatever games that you know, i'm just feeling like playing uh and it's just so amazing that there's so much support from all of you out there. Um, so yeah, I just, just wanted to come here to say thanks. Uh, I got a, another little thing here for you all. We're going to jump into, since obviously E3 just happened uh, this last month, I've decided to make a tier list <laughs> uh, for games that are upcoming that I thought were a notable, at least most of the stuff that was just disclosed. There's so many games. I obviously couldn't add them all in, but just wanted to throw in some games that I'm excited for, kind of throw them into my tier, kind of what I'm expecting and just what we can look forward to moving forward at the channel. Um, obviously, I'm always going to be playing weird, wacky, new indie games that are out there that were not announced at E3. Going to be playing some older series. Uh, again, for those of you who have been asking, uh, Resident Evil 1, I'm definitely going to be getting into that relatively soon, as well as some other games. But let's present our wonderful tier list for today. Uh, obviously, these are all in E and F right now. That's not indicative of what they are. Don't worry. Calm down. Don't, don't you all worry. But let's just start out with... Uh, let's just go through these one by one. So first and foremost, Halo Infinite. I have loved and enjoyed Halo all growing up. Uh, I didn't have an original Xbox, rest in peace. Uh, but as soon as we got the, uh, obviously the Xbox following, the Xbox, what is it, Xbox 360? Yeah, the Xbox 360. My brother and I, we bought Halo, Halo 2. We had so much fun with it, and then getting the Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo 5, Halo Reach. I, I just love, I love Halo. I love their games. Even Halo Wars was an awesome, like RTS, incredible. So I think Halo Infinite is gonna be solidly into S tier when it drops. Definitely gonna be playing it, more than likely on the channel as well. Um, much different for what I normally would do, but the campaign of it, I'm sure is gonna be fantastic. Um, probably gonna do a full playthrough of that. So S tier, right away, right up top. And actually, before we move even further, um, another intent of this is maybe to give you a little bit of background on what my interests are, uh, and maybe some games that some of you may not have been familiar with as well. Uh, so next up, let's get a game, little game called Inscription. So this game is made or published by Devolver. Uh, I saw a trailer for it and I was just immediately struck by how interesting of a game it looked to be. Essentially, it is a mix of a card game. Like, uh, essentially, think uh, Elder Scrolls Legends or any of the other kind of uh, interactive card games that you play. But it mixes horror elements and like escape room type of stuff. So it looked really cool. I have no idea what the anticipation of how well it's gonna turn out is gonna be, but I probably am gonna take a look at it on my channel. Um, this one, I think, mm, I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Uh, it's probably gonna be much better than I anticipate, but for now, we're gonna keep it in, solidly in B. Um, next up, something that was announced, Advanced Wars 1 plus 2. For those of you who are not familiar with the Advance Wars series, it was something that found on Nintendo consoles. Uh, I played it on Game Boy Advance back in the day and had a pretty good time with it. I personally don't think I'm gonna play it on my channel, but uh, maybe for nostalgia, I might pick it up, uh, try it out. This tier is not, not what I think these games are gonna be, but more so my interests. 
even though I just kind of lied with that on inscription. It's just up in the- this is my first tier list. <laughs> so this is gonna be awful. But Advance Wars 1 and 2, I think it'd be a fun game for nostalgia. Obviously, it's just a remake of, or remaster, I guess. Well, a remake of 1 plus 2, which were both good games. I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's gonna be really good for people who really like the game. I don't know if I'll play it. <laughs> Maybe pick it up for nostalgia, probably won't play it on my channel, but that's going to go solidly into C tier. Next up, Atomic Heart. If anybody's unfamiliar, Atomic Heart has been teased for the past, like, at least two years, maybe even three at this point. One of the greatest, like, most technological advanced games I had seen in recent memory when it originally was teased many years ago. Um, they had a lot of marketing with NVIDIA, with uh, kind of getting through the ray tracing, the whole, whole RTX uh, line of graphics cards, and they partnered with Atomic Heart, or the developers, to create all of these different demos and things to show off how ray tracing works. The game itself reminds me a lot, lot, lot of the whole Bioshock series, but more in a Cold War <laughs> Russian environment. So I think this game's gonna be absolutely insane, absolutely amazing. There is a slight chance that it could disappoint though. Um, so hopefully it's great. I'm putting an S here. I'm definitely gonna be playing that one when it comes out. Next up, Back for Blood. The original creators of the Left 4 Dead series have joined together and are creating their own series of zombie fighting multiplayer madness. Uh, this is going to be a fun time. I can already, I can already tell. I think they even had an early access like alpha or beta where they had some people uh, allowed to play the game and check it out. And from the initial gameplay from it, it looks exactly like Left 4 Dead, and that's always a good time. This is definitely going to be a good friends game that I'm going to go ahead and check out. Um, and I think this one will be a solid, I would say it's a solid A tier just because multiplayer game. Okay. Oh, I'm going to get so much hate for this. I can already tell. <laughs> multiplayer games can be incredible. Replay value. Fantastic. For me, S tier games. I love story. I love story. There's gonna be some type of story in a multiplayer game, and especially in a game that is played over and over again, like Left 4 Dead, uh, or Back 4 Blood in this instance. I'm gonna put it in A, because it's like, I'm not super excited for it, but I know it's gonna do really well, people are really gonna love it, and I'm gonna have a blast playing it. So, on with that. We've got Battlefield, what is it, 2042 or something like that? Battlefield series, they have been going with the historic World War One, World War Two aesthetic for a while, and they're going back into the future, future wars with their newest game. Kind of like Call of Duty, I've never been super into, I guess, the multiplayer shooters like these. I mean, I, I really enjoyed playing through Call of Duty and Battlefields back in the day, but like after some initial playing, it's just so sweaty. <laughs> that it's almost not fun to play it sometimes. <laughs> like, it, it, I enjoy, like, the competitive nature of it, and, like, when you're really doing well, it's fun. Um, but, uh, like, to be frank, I haven't purchased a mainline, like, Battlefield in a very long time. Maybe I'll check this out just to, like, have some fun with it, like, off-screen, off-recording. Uh, the future gameplay type looks like it could be pretty fun. Obviously, the giant, massive environments of Battlefield is always amazing, always awesome. Um, I think it's gonna do well, which should go into like maybe the A or B tier. For me personally, again, keep that in mind, for me personally, I'm gonna throw it in the C tier of what I expect myself to potentially play down the line. Um, probably not gonna play it for any type of content here on YouTube, but you know what, maybe, maybe at some point we'll check it out. Is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Now please, before everybody starts absolutely coming for me in the comment section below, I did not finish Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 1. In fact, I have it just chilling here on my desk. Uh, I, I, just, I just never had the time 
to dedicate to put into the game. I enjoyed it. I think they did a really good job with everything like revitalizing what it means to have an open world Zelda game and I know a ton of people who really, really enjoy it. I've never grown up playing Zelda games, uh, as surprising as that sounds. I was always a, I grew up with Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, N64, GameCube, then I got the Wii, and then we went over to the Xbox, and then Xbox One, now I got the Xbox Series X, and now I finally have a PlayStation, which is incredible. All of those are incredible, but I never played any of the Zelda games. Always Mario, always Metroid, always, uh, like Super Smash Brothers, those were my games, and for some reason, we just never, me and my brothers, we never got into Legend of Zelda. So, I think this is going to be an incredible game. It should be S tier. Uh, for the anticipation of me wanting it and super excited for it, I'll put it in a B tier, just just to kind of put it over here. I'm, I'm, oof. I probably won't play it on my channel, but we're just going to put it up here because there's a chance. If I end up finishing the first one, who knows? Who knows what could happen? Uh, I'm just going to keep going in, I think, alphabetical order down here. So let me put these back down. Stoopity boop, spoop, loop, boop, boop, boop. Scoop, boop, boop. Death Loop. We've got Death Loop. I love, I think this is Arcane Studios. I love Arcane Studios. They did an amazing job with Prey. Um, and they've got all of the Dishonored series. I think it's the same people. Don't, don't yell at me. Uh, and Deathloop, as soon as I saw the first trailer, I think it was two E3s ago, or maybe just last E3, uh, I was immediately drawn to it, super, super excited, highly anticipated, straight into S rank, S tier for sure with Deathloop. I think this one comes out later this year. You all can bet I'm gonna be playing this on my channel, uh, more than likely day one. Next up, we've got Dying Light 2. Looks great, looks amazing. It's got zombies, it's got survival, it's got parkour. You're jumping all over the place. I never played the first one. I've been told I should play the first one. I have not played it. So the excitement for, <laughs> you'll see you'll see a very common theme here. The excitement for sequels that I've never played is a little bit low on my bar <laughs> of what I'm waiting for, like what I'm expecting. So once again, Dying Light 2, I, you know what? I might check this out. I might check it out. I don't really have huge excitement for it. I think it's gonna be, it'll probably, uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna keep this solidly in B, or B tier. Cause that's, I, I think it's gonna do well. I think it could be a great game. I've just never played it. Uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, next up. The creme de la creme, Elden Ring. We don't even have to bait this. This is gonna be S tier. And that, that's enough of that. That is enough of that. We don't even have to argue about that. I'm gonna be playing that one day one as well. And the fact that that's coming out this January, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane, and I'm super excited for it. Uh, next up, Far Cry. I couldn't find a good, <laughs> I couldn't even find a good graphic for it, but this is Far Cry 6. Uh, this one's gonna go into D tier because I've got no interest in any Far Cry, Far Cry games. And you know what? They're probably great games, but I just never had any interest or inkling to play them. So I am so sorry for any Far Cry fans that are out there. That one is going into D tier. Maybe it should be E or even F. Uh, it's supposed to be a good game. The graphics look pretty cool. They kind of don't at the same time, <laughs> but we're putting it in D tier for right now. Next up, yeah, let's move some of these over. Move it over, move it over. It's out of alphabetical order now, so it's fine, it's fine. Next up, Just Dance 2022. Straight into F tier, not gonna play it. Sorry, everybody. It's the same game over and over and over again. The first couple Just Dance games, fantastic. When you did the rah 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 speed in dance back in like high school and everybody was playing this game, fantastic. It's the exact same game over and over again though. F tier, done. Next, let's move on. Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread. What can I tell you all about Metroid? I have been such a fan of the Metroid series for so long. I <laughs> I really wish I did a live reaction to Metroid or to the Nintendo E3 because I was literally freaking out. As soon as they brought up, because I've been waiting for Metroid Prime 4, um, I've played through the original Metroid, Metroid Samus Returns. Uh, I played through AM2, AM2R, which is another Metroid 2 remake, which was a very interesting whole scenario that happens with a fan game. Look it up if you want. It's a quite a wild uh, tale with that one. 
Uh, my very first entry into the Metroid series was actually with the first Metroid Prime and Metroid Fusion. They both came out the exact same time, like one day after another. Fell in love with the series from there. Uh, played Metroid Prime 2, got through most of Metroid Prime 3, mostly because it was on the Wii. Still have the Wii, still have the game. Planning on playing through it before 4 comes out. But my goodness, when they're like, well, we've got another 2D Metroid coming. I was like, wait, what? Wait, are you kidding me? What? And then they just put Metroid 5 and I freaked out. I was like, are you kidding me? They're making Metroid 5. And then they said Metroid Dread and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're actually making Metroid Dread. So this is gonna be top of the line S tier. No problems with that. That is a first game that is coming out in October. I'm gonna play the crap out of that. That's gonna be incredible. Next up on our list, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. You know what? I loved the Super Monkey Ball series. Me and my friends, we, actually me and my friend, more specifically one person, we would play Super Monkey Ball all day long in like junior high, middle school, uh, I think elementary school too, on the, gosh, what was that on? It was on the GameCube, I think. And it was such a blast to play through. It's just such a fun little game to play. Uh, this is gonna go more in the nostalgia range of games, kind of with the Advance Wars 1 and 2, uh, but I'm gonna put it just above <laughs> Battlefield 2042, or whatever the name is. <laughs> just because, I don't know, it's Super Monkey Ball. It's got a special place in my heart. I don't know if I'll play it on a stream or anything, but I might buy it for nostalgia purposes. Next up, Mario Party, Mario Party Superstars. This is the exact same thing as Super Monkey Ball and Advance Wars 1 plus 2. Um, this is gonna be more of play with friends as long as they have the game. So uh, I'll put it into B tier. B tier, I'm pretty excited for it, but I'm not like, I'm probably not gonna buy it day one. Um, but if some of my friends have it, I will. It'd be fun to do on stream. Uh, and that's about it. I'm just gonna keep it as is. So, so far, we've only got three left. First here is called Redfall. This was a surprise announcement at E3 and it essentially, it seemed like a Left 4 Dead game, but with vampires. But this is, and I may be mistaken again, I think the same studio or part of the same studio that does Deathloop. So we've got both of these games here that both look super exciting. Both, uh, I think Bethesda, Softworks, not the studios, because studios is Fallout and Elder Scrolls and Starfield, which is right down there in the corner. Um, but I'm excited for this. This looked cool. I don't know about the gameplay because it didn't show any gameplay yet, but just from just from what it looks like, it was super exciting to me. Also, it's 4th of July as I'm recording this. So if you see hear random explosions off in the background, that's what's going on. All right, next up, we've got Replaced, which is a really cool very cinematic looking cyberpunk style 2D platformer. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but um, this popped up during E3 and it looked really, really cool. Um, in fact, it actually looked identical to a very specific game on Steam. Let me pull it up here real quick. Uh, on my wish list that I've had for a while called The Last Night. So this game looks identical to replaced in terms of its style. It's like a like a highly pixelated, but 3D atmosphere environment. Um, but now replaced is the next game that looks pretty much close to it, but it's a completely different developer. Very cool atmosphere, very cool environments. I'm excited for this one. I'm gonna put it in A tier, probably gonna play that day one. Uh, no idea what it's like, but we're going for it. <laughs> and then finally, we've got Starfield. Starfield. My goodness, I am such a fanboy for any type of Bethesda game. I will say though, I was very, very disappointed, very disappointed with Fallout 76. I went to E3, uh, I've been to E3 about three times now, and I went to the, the last E3 in person specifically to go and check out Fallout 76 because I was that excited for it. I physically saw I physically saw these people in person. Todd Howard, I saw him at an event talking about the game. Uh, I actually even saw Kojima 
um, while waiting for Todd Howard to speak, which was really cool. And I was so hyped for that game. And then it, when it came out, it was so buggy and it was so such a mess. It was such a mess. And like, I know it wasn't supposed to be like a mainline Fallout game, but oh man, they, they turned off so many people from the Fallout franchise and they, they've they obviously fixed a lot of stuff recently. And it's, it's a much better game than it was on day one release, but it was such a disappointing <laughs> like detail as it was first coming out. I've got very high hopes for this though. I've got very, very high hopes for Starfield and I'm really, really excited for it to come out. Um, it's gonna be a while. I don't think really we can know our full excitement for it uh, until we are at the point where we're seeing some gameplay trailers and we know that the game is not gonna be a buggy mess. Uh, but I think overall it's, it's gonna be a really, really amazing experience. Um, so overall then with my tier list, I think for the S tier, I'm gonna put Metroid Dread at the top because I'm I'm seriously so excited for that. I am so stoked for Metroid um, and just the trailers made it look awesome. There's this whole debate going on online if 2D side scrollers are worth $60 and I 100% think so. If there's a good story to it, if there's good gameplay, if there's uh, people working on the game and putting their heart and soul into a game, I think that $60 price tag is absolutely worth it. Um, I, I, in fact, paid for the collector's edition, which was like, I think like 80 or $90. So I can't wait for that to come in. Hopefully it comes in. Uh, and then right up next, we're gonna put Elden Ring. That one's gonna be amazing. Uh, Halo Infinite right afterwards. Atomic Heart from there. I'll put Starfield and then Deathloop right behind it in the S tier categories. Uh, I think in A, this is pretty solid with Back for Blood. Uh, and then we've got the Redfall and then Replaced. B tier, you know what? <sighs> just, to, just to ease everybody, just to ease everybody. I'm gonna put Breath of the Wild 2 right there and then Inscription and then Dying Light and then Mario Party. C tier. I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put Monkey Ball. Monkey Ball is gonna go in the top of the A tier with Battlefield next, and then Advance Wars one and two. Uh, you know what? You know what? We're just gonna put Far Cry six into E tier. I I'm feeling a little. Uh, feeling a little. Little funky today about that. <laughs> and then Just Dance straight up in F tier. No offense to anybody that likes dancing games, but that's it. That is my that is my tier list for these upcoming games that are coming out. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going off the fly right now. Uh, just winging it on this video, but <laughs> there's so many other games that I would love to play. Uh, you all know there's, there's always cool indie games that are coming out. This is not even close to the amount of games coming out at E3 um, that were announced or that are upcoming. There's a ton of like random games. These are just the ones that I kind of were like, oh, I'm sure a lot of people will be familiar with these. And here's a handful that people might not be. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> thank you all so much for being here on my channel. Uh, again, you all are so amazing for, for coming out day after day to watch my videos. And um, yeah, it's it's been it's been quite a journey. It's been a little bit over, I guess, a year and a half now since I started this whole YouTube venture. And uh, obviously you've got stuff going on over on like TikTok is a huge place where uh, I've got a lot of fans that are coming over from the kind of clips that I post over there. Uh, obviously I try to do stuff on Twitch a lot and do live streams there. I've got my Sunday streams that as long as there's no holidays going on, uh, we're usually doing stuff like Minecraft or whatever else it might be. But uh, I'm super excited for, for the future of this channel. Uh, I can't wait to continue just creating more uh, and creating bigger and better things too, honestly. Uh, as a lot of you know, and I mentioned this a lot in these update videos that uh, I love to, to, to not only do gaming content 100% of the time. Uh, I think that will always be a big focus of this channel, but um, I do want to really kind of bring you all along with other things that I'm passionate about, whether that be uh, music ventures and journeys and writing and performing and showing you guys my music or just doing creative uh, like filming, whether it's doing like little little short story videos almost or uh, another huge passion of mine has always been traveling. So um, I know the world's been locked down for 
for quite a while, basically ever since I started YouTube and uh, I'm excited to kind of go out more, explore uh, and do some like vlogs and stuff like that. I think that'd be super, super fun uh, and kind of bring a different type of personality to this channel. But uh, as of right now, we're, we're going strong with the games. We're going strong with the streams uh, and no, you, you all are going strong for me here on my channel. Uh, I, I cannot thank you all enough. Uh, hope Hopefully this little tier list thing was entertaining in some sense <laughs> or that you enjoyed it. Uh, I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on my tier list. <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of dissent and disappointment and arguments. Uh, come at me, come at me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on at least these mix of games. Uh, should I do more of these tier lists in the future? I, I should definitely do more fun things like, I don't know, like a soda tier list or something stupid. <laughs> Just something fun. I, I like doing kind of more off the cuff videos like this, which are just not directly related to gaming. So, um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful week. We're, uh, what is it? Today's Monday now, uh, as of this coming out. So I hope you all have an amazing week coming up here. Uh, we're more than halfway into the year already. So plenty, plenty more to come. I can't wait to share all the va video games that are gonna be coming out with you all and all the videos I'm gonna make. Uh, for those of you who may be curious, obviously I mentioned Resident Evil 1. Uh, I'm gonna be starting that series relatively soon. Um, also, uh, Buddy Simulator. 1986 I forget the year uh, but buddy simulator uh, the developers of that team uh, we were talking on TikTok of all places and uh, they sent me a code I've actually been wanting to play that for a little bit so I might do a little mini series on that game relatively soon um, obviously we have uh, oh oh why am I forgetting the name of the game <laughs> Breath Edge! <laughs> We've got Breath Edge going on the channel. Uh, it's it's definitely going to be a once per week deal with longer episodes. Um, to be honest, it's not necessarily going as much, going as well as I would hope it would. Not necessarily in the viewership, but um, the game's fun, but it's a little, it's a little tedious um, to play it. So sometimes games I play, I may like kind of pull back on the amount that I put into them. I know there's big fans of uh, some of these series that do come out. So um, I'm trying to commit to, to finish that game, but uh, it ended up being much, much longer than I anticipated. I usually check to see like length of games before I start playing them. <laughs> and that one was like, oh yeah, it's like a, it's like a 20 hour game. I was like, oh, okay, that's like a couple of weeks worth. And then that was for like the very first iteration when it was an early access. I think it's like a 50 hour game uh, in total. So that that was not expected. <laughs> but but we, we keep going, we keep going. As long as it's once a day, long episodes, uh, that that's at a good point for me to, to still focus on it, give you guys the content for it, but also be able to focus on other things like these small indies or um, just different games that everybody else is also excited about. Uh, but yeah, thank you all again for amazing, amazing support on this channel, for all of the love, all of the amazingness. Uh, and yeah, that's, uh, I just keep saying thank you. I don't know what else to do. So that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Again, love to hear your thoughts on this tier list. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? And of course, if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Let's get this thing to 40K and beyond. I think for the future of the channel, I I mean, after you hit 50K, 100K is the next thing. I have no idea how long it'll take me to get there. It took me a year and a half to get to 40. So we're closer to 50. Uh, who knows? Maybe it'll take another year and a half. Maybe it'll take longer. Maybe it'll take shorter, but uh, I'll probably do another update video once we hit 50K or maybe another milestone and uh, we'll just keep going from there. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later. <laughs>